come to bring you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The Bible tells in John 8, 31 and verse 32. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free. John 17 and 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. All right, the Bible said the word of God is true. And Matthew 4 and 4. But he answered and said. He answered and said. It is written. It is written. Man should not live by bread alone. All right. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. But by every everything that's written in the word. And 2 Timothy 4. Again at verse number 2. 2 Timothy 4, beginning at verse 2. Preach the word. Preach the word. Be instant in season. The Bible said be instant in season. Out of season. Out of season. Reprove. Mm -hmm. Rebuke. Rebuke. Exalt with all long suffering. Exalt with all long suffering. And doctrine. Mm -hmm. For the time will come. When they would not endure sound up. All right, when this was written in Timothy, the time hadn't come. But that time has come in the day that we're living in where men will not receive sound doctrine. Second Timothy 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. All right. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine. This is the only thing profitable for doctrine. For reproof. Reproof. For correction. For correction. For an instruction in righteousness. All right. Instruction in righteousness. And we want to go to the book of Mark. Mark 1, verse 14. Now after that Jesus was put in prison. After Jesus was put in prison. Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. All right, after John was put in prison, then Jesus came preaching the gospel of of the kingdom of God. Now Jesus was a messenger sent from God with a message and that message was the gospel of the kingdom which is good news. Fifteen verse. And say the time is fulfilled. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. All right. Repent ye and believe the gospel. All right. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. And the Bible is telling us through Jesus Christ to repent and believe the gospel. Now, most of mainstream religion, they don't even know what the gospel is. But the Bible requires us to repent and believe it. Matthew 24 and verse 14. Jesus requires some things of his ministers and pastors. And this gospel of the kingdom. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness. All right. And to all nations, and then shall the end come. All right, this gospel must be preached. Luke 9, verse number 1. 
Then he called his twelve disciples. Then he called his twelve disciples. And gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure disease. All right, Jesus gave his disciples this power and authority. Uh -huh. and, and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. All right, so Jesus' disciples had the same message that Jesus brought, the gospel of the kingdom. Acts 19, verse number 8. And he went into the synagogue and spake boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. The things concerning the kingdom of God. Apostle Paul preached the gospel of the kingdom. Acts 1 and verse 3. Now remember, in the book of Mark, after John was put in prison, Jesus came on scenery preaching the gospel. This was the first message that he preached in his ministry. Acts 1 and verse number 3. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. Right. Being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. All right. So after his death and resurrection, Jesus spake about the kingdom of God. This was the last message that he preached. Now, it had to be important. It was his very first message and the very last message. Let's go to the book of Galatians 1, beginning at verse number 6. I marvel. Paul said, I marvel. In other words, I'm surprised that ye are so soon removed from him that call you from into, him that call you into the grace of Christ and to another gospel unto another gospel which is not another which is not another but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ all right now this was just 20 something years after the church was built and Already, now this is not the false prophets here. This is the church of God beginning to be led away from the true gospel. That's why Paul said, I marvel. And said, there is not another gospel. What, what does it say here in Galatians? But though we... All right, Apostle Paul said, though we are an angel from heaven, are even an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel to you. All right, preach any other gospel. Then that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. The Bible said, let him be a curse. Amen. And according to what's being preached in mainstream religion, there are a lot of cursed people. So they are not preaching and teaching the gospel of the kingdom. Now let's go to 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 7. Now Jesus brought this message to the world concerning the gospel of the kingdom and let's see what Apostle Paul said about this gospel. But we speak the wisdom of God in the mystery. The wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. All right, so here talking about the wisdom of God and the Bible said it's a mystery. Amen. Let's go to Matthew 13 and verse number 10 and show you why 
mainstream religion do not understand this gospel that Jesus brought and that he commanded his disciples to preach. And the disciples came and said unto him. The disciples came and said unto him. Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Why speakest thou unto them in parables? The disciples understood that Jesus was speaking a way in a way to the people that they could not understand, and they wondered why. He Let answered and said unto them. He answered and said unto them. Because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. All right, it is given unto you, talking about the disciples, the one that he called to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Now, notice, Jesus brought this message and he commanded his disciples, his followers, to preach the same message, but to some, he didn't give it to them to understand. All right, what does it say? For well, whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. All right, Matthew 11 and verse 25. It's not, he said, it's not given unto them to know the mysteries. Now the kingdom of God, the message that he brought to the world is a mystery and the only one can understand is the one that God called and revealed this message to them. Yeah. All right, what it said? At that time, Jesus answered and said, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Lord of heaven and earth. Because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent. Thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent. And hast revealed, revealed them unto babes. All right, so these things are hidden from the world as a whole, especially the religious world. But it is given unto the one that God has called and it's all about God's plan of salvation. We ask you to stay tuned and we'll give you some more of this truth. This is Pastor Mixon saying bye now. Amen.